How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the stream, or if you're watching this on YouTube, because I'm probably going to post this on YouTube, because of the fact that I'm going to kind of do some ranting about Fallout 76, and maybe a few other games that were announced at E3. I'm not really sure exactly what I want to cover right now. <clears throat> that being said, I'm probably going to, I'm going to warn you now, there's probably going to be a lot of interruptions, because uh, I'm doing this playing at the same time, and I'm going to get distracted by War Thunder. It's just, it happens. I can't help it. Um, but that being said... I am going to do some, we're going to start, just, just, we're going to get right into the talking about it, and the main thing we're going to start off here, and we're going to start talking about right now is Fallout 76, which, as many of you probably have seen it, it was now, they did the thing, or was, I believe it was, yeah, it was last night, as of the time I'm recording this, doing the stream right now, and, uh, they talked about the fact that it was me, a multiplayer game, and, now, at first I hated that idea, and I still, I'm, I'm weary of that idea a little bit, and that's mainly because... It's. I always see Fallout as a, a single-player, role-playing, immerse yourself kind of game. And uh, being that they're making it multiplayer now, I don't see that. This. I. My biggest threat, afraid, is yes. They say you, he says you can play it. It's a strictly online game, but you can play it by yourself. Now I don't know if that means you can be on your own instance where you're not fighting any. You know, you're, there's no other people in this on that server or something. Or is it going to be somewhere along the lines of you know? you just by yourself and yeah you can run across a, a bad guy if that being said I think that's really stupid because you could just by playing by yourself we're all up on a squad of like four or five and then well, what are you supposed to do exactly um, I, I, I feel like that's I don't know I'm some people are interpreting it as is you could be in your own instance which I, I, I hope that's what it's for we didn't get enough information so I truly don't know I'm optimistic and thinking that it, it should be for you know that that's what's gonna be because I can if you're a game developer, you gotta understand the fact that you're gonna have some limitations, or you know, have some problems with a one v four situation of an online world. Now, another concern I also have is hackers. So there's gonna, are gonna any online game gets the problem with people potentially hacking. So I, I I'd, I'd hate to see my the, my favorite franchise Fallout be foiled by a, a hacking system. Here, I see if we get this guy. Got him. All right. So, like, like hackers, like, I, we deal with hackers on a regular basis almost in War Thunder, which, it, it really sucks. I mean, it, it's, really kind of kills the game. That F-84 is going to kill me. But, uh, anyway, so it's like, I don't know what to do, how I feel about that. Hackers are a, a big problem in all games, and I really hope I don't have to deal with it. But that's, again, they might, that's just speculation. They could have a really good anti-cheat system, fixes that problem, whatever. Another thing is, I'm used to being Fallout games being single player, so therefore you can mod them. Now, I don't believe there's going to be any mod support with online. Now, it, does, it is possible to do an online game with mods. It's, it's happened. There's other games out there with that. But, I don't know how they're going to do that without getting an unfair advantage to one player. So, I'm thinking there's going to be no mods. Which, I can live without mods, to be honest. It's not the biggest downside of the game. I'm going to go try to get my rockets off, at least. Um, it's not the biggest downside of the game ever. But... You got that. Another thing is, too, another downside is my thing is VATS. I don't see how you can do VATS in an online world with multiple players because of the fact that how are you going to slow down a world for everybody? I mean, I don't know how that works. Is Are you just going to be walking along sometime and somebody did VATS or something like that? So you start slowing down because the VATS are going on. I, I don't think that's... I'm, my guess is they're just not going to have VATS or... Maybe they do like a like VATS are going to be more like a bullet time. Gosh, I don't know how they work, that even works. I don't know. I, I don't. They don't. I just. My guess is they're not just not going to do vats. I'm thinking that's the only way that's going to work. Um, which, you know, it's not the end of the world. I guess it's just it's just more things that are taking away from the everything we know about Fallout. You know, it's, at this point, you get rid of the role playing aspect of it. You get rid of vats. You get rid of the. And it, it sounds like too. Another thing we'll go on here is it sounds like there's not very many quests. So if it is a single player game, you do play end up playing by yourself. It sounds like your quests aren't exactly the most interesting in the world. It sounds like you made it sound like there's like Overseer gives you like one quest that takes you to like six different regions. And that's the thing is there is six different regions in the game, so there's a lot to explore. But I, if it's not, if there's nothing else, there, if it's just exploring and just like survival building kind of thing, it's not really a Fallout game in my opinion. And I, that makes me kind of come to the conclusion: at this point, should they named it something different or done some sort of spin-off and not really made it a Fallout game? Because at this point, you just kind of disappointed all the die-hard Fallout players, like me. I'm, I love Fallout as it, in the form it's in. Oh, only a hit. Um, so therefore, it's it seems 
like they just it's a different game at all. It's it kind of angered a lot of people making doing this this way. And it also made it so a lot of the you know the diehard Fallout players are kind of mad and it made it so but, but I mean there's gonna be a lot of people are gonna enjoy this game, don't get me wrong. There's people out there that love the idea of a online or a you know, multiplayer Fallout. And I personally love the idea. I was I thought like a co op would be a better idea. But you know, I, I, I'm still probably going to get this game and still probably going to enjoy it. I mean, I, I think it's going to be it looks really fun. I mean, West Virginia is a, an amazing looking area. The map looks great because they have an updated engine. Probably going to get away over because these things have a tendency of shooting you down. Um, but the updated engine looks very, very interesting. And so, I, I mean, it, it very well could be a very, very fun game. And I'm still probably going to get it and hopefully play it. I'm hoping that it's either that its own instant thing, or I'm gonna have to get a. I don't know how many people you can squat up with, but I'm gonna have to get a group of people going. So, who's ever on YouTube? If you want, to, I know it comes out November 14th, so we have time. But whoever wants to squat up and do a come up with a group, let me know. What I get on them, left wing only. So, but that being said, I mean it still is an amazing game. I'm just concerned. I'm hopeful. That still could have fun with it. I'm, I can almost guarantee it's still gonna be. I'm still gonna have fun. I, I love Fallout, and I'm willing to stick with anything. I mean, I even played Fallout Shelter, which is not exactly a normal Fallout game, so it works out for the better, in my opinion. And uh, well, I gotta head back. I only have a minute of fuel, but two minutes of fuel. But anyways. It's, let me know what you guys think about it. I mean, if you think it's going to be a fun game still, or is it going to be, you know, kind of a loss. I mean, I, I know I was, I was watching the, the live presentation thing of it, and uh, they, a lot of people, there was like 380-some people playing the game, or watching the stream, and a lot of them seemed like they were kind of mad the fact that they were doing this. I get that nose down. Ah, nothing. Anyways, back to the where we're going. We should still head that way. And uh, so, I mean, I, it's, it just seems like a lot of people are gonna be mad at this, and I'm hoping, hoping that it is better. I keep saying this. I'm very hopeful in the fact that this game is still gonna be good. I, I, I really do, because it's like my favorite franchise ever to exist so I mean I, I I'm I'm hopeful but uh fortunately we can't you know it's some there's bound to be something to let you down like I, I mean I'm not a fan of Fallout New Vegas which a lot of people like so it's 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 not like it's gonna be that big of a deal to me but anyways I mean there's also more things they're announced too I mean they had announced uh, new Wolfenstein um, uh, Prey DLC, which I've, I've never really gotten into the Wolfenstein games. I have most of the Wolfenstein games. I don't have New Colossus. But, uh... I gotta go down here and land. Anyways, so, I mean, I, another thing I'm looking forward to is Battlefield 5. And I will be I will be getting Battlefield 5. That one I, I know I will like. And I'll... Because I love Battlefield single-player campaign. And, uh... I... I Where's the? I can't think of what else they announced that I want. Oh, the, the possibility of a new Elder Scrolls Six. I mean, they just announced the name, so therefore we probably have years away from having Elder Scrolls Six game being actually out. But it doesn't matter. I love Elder Scrolls, and I will be. I will definitely when that comes out. I'll be getting that. That's that's a for sure. Um, I'm just my my. I mean, when they announced this, the first trailer, the teaser trailer, I guess you'd call it for the the Fallout seventy six. I was so excited. Where's the machine guns coming from? I-54. Anyways, I was... I mean, yeah, that made my day. That was the happiest thing ever. But then I heard the, the rumors of a possible multiplayer, and I got... I got worried. And then now I've heard that it was officially a multiplayer game, and now I'm really worried. Now, I still think it could be fun. I, like I said, if I can get a squad together to do this thing up and figure out how to make this work, that'd be really fun. Still. But I, I do have concerns about the thing, because they show in the trailer, they show X-01 Palmer, but in my... I always thought that Enclave made the X-01 Palmer post-war, and I don't know how late, or how early post-war, I don't know what year, because this is like 2102 or something like that, so this is a prequel to all the other Fallout games, and so therefore I don't, is it, I don't know exactly how that works, I mean, it, it seems like 
it's a, you know, I don't know. It's It seems like they have wrong things. I mean, the Super Mutants there, and I know they said that Super Mutants were invented by the Master in 2103, so therefore there should be no Super Mutants. But, then again, now I heard the fact that there is... You could vault was it vault eighty six I believe it was had super mutants in it before the master because it's there F if anywhere is FVV you can have super mutants so I mean the super mutant mutant, mutant thing that make that that was explained that makes sense to me but now it's the I see the XO one Palmer which I don't see as being I don't know I don't remember when that came out um, there's also a new power armor which looks like some sort of construction power armor maybe I don't and. Uh, I, I mean, I, there's there's aspects of the game, and they have like new creatures. That I think there's me the Mothman in it from West this West Virginian folklore kind of thing, which is really interesting. I mean, they did an amazing job on this game. I mean, it's like got interesting stuff that's completely new to the Fallout franchise. I mean, even their settlement building system. You can build a settlement anywhere. And they have this camp system. It's I I can't remember exactly what the camp stands for, but Vault Tech always has a something for something. And I was so there's a camp system thing that you can do. Which is really cool, in my, I, I think. Now uh, you can build a settlement anywhere with your friends, and it's like a settlement building, like like you could, like Minecraft, you could build a fort with your friends, which I feel like would be an amazing pastime. I mean, the game would be, it, it's gonna be fun for at least a little bit. Um, the downside to this is they also launched the fact, or said the fact that you could have you go out there and you can locate these things and find nuclear launch codes. Well, nuclear launch codes means you can nuke stuff, and they show the thing like you can actually nuke other bases and stuff like that. Well, I'm not going to be... you really going to spend all this time with your friends building a... building... Hang on, hang on a second. Building a base to get nuked by other people? I mean, that just... I, it's just turning into games like Rust and like, uh... Well, uh... What are there other games out there that are building? Like Ark and stuff like that. And uh, Reign of Kings where it's a multiplayer game. You can base building, which is the funnest part. But when you're not, if you're not there to guard your base 24/7, or if they do nukes, you really even if you're there guarding, it doesn't help. There's no point. It, it it's it makes the game fun like for like 20 minutes and then kind of ends. And that's that's another thing I'm worried about. I mean, there's there's so many things that I like about Fallout 76, but there's so many things that I think are very questionable decisions. And I just I, I hope it. The thing is, that there's still so much left out in the open here. We got damage to wing. There's so many things left out in the open there, so it's it's impossible to know for sure. We don't have anything set in stone yet, so therefore, I mean, you never know when Bethesda always does things. It changes the game. So, we never know. And, uh, I, I guess I'm hopeful, and I, I hope you guys enjoy it, and if, let me, like I said, I'm a, if you guys want to follow me on Steam so we can, you know, when this, I don't know if this coming come on Steam, too, I wonder, that, that's another thing I'm curious about. So just, I mean, let me know if you guys want to squat. But yeah, I know we have time. You have, you have like four months to figure this out. If you guys want, to, if anybody wants to squat up and do this, so <laughs> a lot of things. But that's the thing is, we also squat up and play Battlefield Five at some point too. If you want or Battlefield One, even there's stuff that's already out, or even more Thunder. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the ranting about Fallout 76 for now. I might rant more later. I'm not quite sure. I never know what I'm gonna do. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's gonna that's that's gonna do it for the rants for now. Now I'm just going to go in full on stocking mode on this 262 and we'll see if we can get them. Because we are gaining on them fast. P er, is, I mean, yeah, P80 is fast, man. Can be fast. I also don't want to go too fast, though. Got him. 